<laughs> you hear the camera starting. So before the weekend is over, I wanted to sit down with a few people that showed up here to the Mastermind um, just to kind of share some of their stories as well and how it ties to where we are right now because I think everybody here has a pretty unique situation, a pretty unique story. So I want to take a few minutes with as many people as we can and maybe something you see here will relate to you and maybe hopefully be a benefit. So right now I'm here with Jay Luciano. Jay is the only Puerto Rican native that is here at the Mastermind in Fajardo. So he had to come from a couple hours away. Um, but Jay, how old are you now? 25. 25 years old. Now, Jay invested into DDM. He was actually the first person to join when I did the uh, that first pre-launch there. Now, that's been over two years ago since then, that like very first version. So what were you doing then, let's say two years ago? Well, two years ago, I was starting to build my own digital products. And given that I already knew about you, since I've been following you, since you were doing the whole physical drop shipping stuff, um, I, I saw it as like the perfect opportunity to kind of like join a group of people doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know what, why not? Like I trust this guy, he's been around for a while. Um, he's not just like another course seller like you see these days, people just hopping on uh, Instagram, flexing a fake lifestyle. And considering that, you know, you've built so much goodwill over the years, I already knew that what you do is actually genuine and you're not here to scam anybody. So I saw it as, as like the perfect opportunity to join a group of people because to me, the information wasn't something that I, that I needed per se. I knew that I just needed to be around more people that were doing the same thing as, as, as like you guys. Uh, considering that people here in Puerto Rico, like they, I talk about this stuff and people look at me weird. Mm -hmm. So um, essentially that's what I was doing was just building my own products and you came up with the program and I just decided to join. And even before that, like what's a little bit of your background? If you had to share a little bit of your background, like you come from money, you come from a poor background, you were neglected. Like what, what's your story a little bit as far as background that even brought you to that point of wanting to do digital products? Oof, that's a good question. Um, in my case, I come from a middle-class family and here in Puerto Rico, middle-class is like, you're technically poor. Like you're like the most screwed up out of everybody because poor people get all the benefits. People with money, well, they obviously have money. They can, you know, they do well. And the middle class, you work, but you get no benefits. And um, I actually decided to get into the digital product space just for the sole purpose of creating something that can benefit other people without me having to be so heavily involved in it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much kind of like my background, uh, short story, pretty much. You wanted to build something that was like replicatable for people without you having to like do a crazy amount of fulfillment every single time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But, um, there is kind of like a catch and you do have to do a lot of upfront work. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. Like my products uh, require intense documentation so that the end user uh, gets to do the thing on their own and build the entire, I build systems and automations inside of Notion particularly. And people who don't know about this platform they need someone to teach them how to set up everything. And in order for me to best give the experience to someone that knows nothing about this platform, then it's up to me to knock it out of the park and make an exceptional product so that they don't feel lost in the process. And when you create a product like that, you get incredible customer reviews and people just don't complain like they would if you just, you know, put something together real quick. Mm -hmm. Like it took me six months to launch the, the MVP. So I have a question, sorry to cut you off, but I think at this point it would make a ton of sense for everybody watching right now for you to just basically share what you actually do. Cause that's kind of what you're talking about, but let's explain like, what do you actually do? So they know 
and maybe if they want to check out your stuff. So, all right, I'm going I'm to give you like a quick background because like this is a quick interview, but I wanted to build my own uh, marketing agency because I needed to make money to fund my ads for my dropshipping business. And given that dropshipping, will, it requires a lot of upfront capital to invest in ads. I just needed to find a way to use my skills, leverage my skills to service other people and get that money to, well, obviously fund my ads. But then that became my business because I saw other people selling these types of products and I just decided to do the same thing and just show people what I built. And now this product, like I was talking about this to the guys earlier today and it blows my mind every time I think about it, but you know, a 25 year old dude from Puerto Rico is selling a digital product to people all over the world, Russia, Belarus, Canada, uh, Colombia, Mexico, obviously United States. And what is it and who is it for? Marketing agencies. So I built a product for myself that I still use myself and I sell it to other marketing agencies. So if I'm a marketing agency and I hear you talking about this product and that you use it, people are buying it from all around the world. Like, what is it? Why do I need it? Why do you need it? Why do I need it? Well, think about this. If you don't have, like, what, what would happen to your business if you don't have any systems in place? I have systems. What does this do? Well, it streamlines the entire back end operations of your business. Like in this case, what I built initially, it was a um, sales pipeline with a content management system, finance management system, uh, content management system, task managers, pa uh, project managers, SOPs, um, all that good stuff. Literally everything you need. Kind of like a CRM? I mean, a CRM is just a CRM just to manage clients, but this is more of a internal and external uh, relationship that you will, you know, uh, create inside of like the same product. So you're going to be able to manage the back end operations of your business externally, as in manage your clients, everything that they need, deliver your service, in this case, marketing agencies. And then uh, you're going to be able to streamline the internal part of the business, which is uh, teams, tasks, projects, everything that you don't show to your clients. And how does it actually work? Like, I, I'm going to get a website if I buy this product. It's a, what is it? It's a template. So essentially you, after you purchase a product, you're going to be sent a link that you will, uh, you know, it'll give you access to the template, to the template in order to duplicate into your workspace. And then once you download it to your workspace, you're, you'll have everything. Like it's already done. The only thing you need to do is just set up the automations. And that's pretty much it, which I made it incredibly easy for you to do. Yeah. I'm just playing devil's advocate and someone that's listening and maybe hearing this and seeing this and like, what, it, what is this? It sounds interesting. So I have one question for you, but I want you to first just share, like if someone's watching this and they want to like look at what you're talking about, maybe they're interested or they want to reach out to you, where should they go? Oh, they uh, streamline systems.io. Perfect. So you can go to the website, check it out. He'll answer any questions you have as well, but I know it's valuable because I know Jay, I know other people that are using it and have gotten value from it. I've seen the results from it. So um, now I want to ask Jay because I think people watching this are going to be in different situations, whether they have a business or they're thinking about it or anything in between. But everybody tends to have a similar reason of doing it. They want to say make money, but is there something more specific, a, re a reason that hits closer to your heart for doing all this? Oh, dude, that's a great question. If you're struggling financially, and trust me, I know what it feels like, the worst thing in the world is having to go to a grocery store or get a haircut, whatever it may be, and then you having to pull your phone to see how much money you have in your bank account. That is the part that hits really hard for me because if you have to look to your, you know, like you have to go inside your phone to see if you have enough money to eat, that to me is something that, I don't ever want to deal with ever again. And creating these sorts of products have allowed me to, well, literally, I wouldn't say that I'm incredibly like wealthy, but it has definitely done 
a lot of, or it has definitely helped me out a lot more than um, providing any sort of service for like 30 days or something like that. It's like I, the product is already done. People just buy it and that's it. So um, I would say that that's pretty much the reason that I do it internally. Like there are other reasons because I'm also a nerd and I like this stuff. So like to me, it's also fun. And I wanted to add that too. Um, don't just because something makes a lot of money doesn't mean that it's right for you. In my case, I've done it. I've decided to you know stick with this uh, product because I've known uh, Notion for what since 2017. It's been like what I don't know, I don't know how to do that math, but it's been a while since I've been using that platform, and I don't. In my case, I, I've been using it for so long, I know how to code. That's another thing that you also need to know where you're at as well. So I want to recommend this only to people who kind of like know how to code and kind of like are in more of a developer side of the uh, pro digital product space. But if you're like just starting out, like there's people crushing it right now with Canva templates, you know, like you can start slowly and then build your way up. I just chose this because it was the thing that I knew how to do most. Mm -hmm. And I just leaned into my strengths. Well, Jay, I like your story. I like you. I've known you for a while. And for you with where you're at, and just from like my thoughts, for someone who likes to take risks, you took a risk to come here, as did everybody else. And I just know for you it's, it's time and you're next stop bro yeah so thanks for the interview always a good time bro of course bro thanks for coming thanks for having me absolutely can you talk about the trip for a little bit how much money did you spend to be here two grand worth it or not worth it absolutely worth it why i mean you just get to hang out with incredible people to like i said like the community aspect of this is what matters to me most hanging out with uh, like-minded individuals and I don't know, it's just, why not? Yeah. You know, I, I, I sit in a room every single day, boxed in, like, why not do this? Like, it's a, just the perfect opportunity. Like, a lot of people are just scared to throw in two grand to just hang out with a couple of people. You get to experience really cool things, like this mansion, you got the yacht, that was really dope. And, but to me, it's mainly just the connections to people. That's why I did it. Do you feel like you learned something? Oh, absolutely. Like last night we went to sleep at like 1 a.m. talking to Daniel, like spinning out like, I don't know, like you said earlier, he's like a human chat GPT. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And now I want to ask favorite part personally for you, because everybody's going to have a different thing that they like the most or the best experience they had. What's maybe one special thing that happened that you really liked? I would say that um, that conversation we had last night, it was incredibly val valuable to me. I don't know what it, what it was about it. It was, you know, we were just hanging out, chilling, just having a good time. I actually had a massive headache, but I didn't want to go to sleep because I just wanted to take everything <laughs> in. I noticed today, and maybe this is me just like looking at something that's not actually a thing, but I noticed today I feel like you're a little more like, I can't tell if you're, you're tired, like you're on the boat, you're kind of like hanging alone a little bit. And there at dinner, you're kind of hanging alone a little bit, either that or you're like extremely dialed in and you have ideas. I don't know which one it is. Oh, well, today at the boat, I was just tired. Like I was just so relaxed and like, I don't sleep that well. Like I, 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 like I work a lot. Yeah. Like I end up going to sleep at like four or five in the morning sometimes, just, you know, cranking like the, the tutorials and all that stuff. But um, today I, I, I was just writing an email up there because like, I just wanted to kind of get that out of, of my system, so. Cool. Now, would you tell the people um, maybe if they should come to the next one? Oh, absolutely, dude. If you don't come here, dude, I'm gonna get so pissed off because this is something that you should definitely do. Like, why not? Take the risk. There's people all from all over the world, Australia, Mexico. I mean, I'm two hours away, Canada. Like, I don't know, like there's people from all over the world here, so why not? Well, you were a part of the first mastermind when it was just like a, a trial. You know, you, jo you were the first to join the pre-launch for DDM. You were the first to do the pre-launch for the masterminds. Now you're that, at the official one. So um, maybe see you at the next one. Oh, I, I will come to the next one. What do you mean? Yeah, perfect. <laughs>
yeah.